I felt that I needed to do anything I could, not just to stop this, but also to make up for the fact that I hadn't done anything in the past. Um, that weighed on me, even though I knew that it probably wouldn't have made, made a difference. Um, you know, if this almost 14,000 word article didn't have the kind of impact it should have had by all rights, then nothing I would have said necessarily would have mattered, but I definitely felt the responsibility of um, needing to do something. What do you want to happen now? This country is on a precipice, and we have a decision to make in the not too distant future about who we want to be and where we want to go as a country. Um, it's hard for me to process just how many awful things are going on simultaneously on a daily basis. And people need to know. People need as much information as, as is available in order to make a decision that makes sense for our future as a, as a country, as, as Americans, as citizens of the world, so to speak. The New York Times review of your book concludes saying it's been written from pain and designed to hurt. Fair critique? Uh, no. Written from pain, absolutely. Hurting wasn't my, it wasn't a goal. It wasn't an intention. If telling the truth, if telling the stories as I remember them, as they were told to me, causes pain, then the people who participated, participated in them need to look to themselves. April 2017, I'm gonna end where I began. Sure. You go, you see the president mm -hmm. in the Oval Office, and you say, I'll tell him, don't let them get you down. Did you mean that? I did, actually. Um, he, that was four months in, he already seemed very um, strained by the pressures. You know, he'd never been in a situation before where he wasn't entirely protected from criticism or accountability or things like that. Um, and I just remember thinking, he seems tired. He seems like this is not what he signed up for, if he even knows what he signed up for. And uh, I thought his response was actually um, more enlightening than, than um, my statement. Um, and he said, they won't get me. And so far, looks like he's right. And if you're in the Oval Office today, what would you say to him? Resign. Yes, resign. Thank you.